Hey everybody, horticulturist Gary Bachman. It's time for another daily dose of hort. Well now, I've shown you where we were gonna plant the, um, the okra here a couple, couple segments ago. Hey, it's time to do it. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna go for one okra plant per box just because they, they get so darn big because they love growing in this system. So the first thing I need to do is I have to cut a hole in the, um, in the plastic. Just gonna let this school bus go by. Just hang on a second, guys. Yellow school bus. Okay, first thing I need to do, we need to cut the holes in the plastic. I always love showing this because I always get the questions like, how do you cut the holes? You know, those perfect holes in the plastic. Well, as I've shown everybody in the past, I use my torch and I use copper plumbing fittings, depending on the size of the, um, the, um, the, the seeds I'm doing or the plants I'm planting. I'm just gonna go with the big, with the big um, hole cutter here. I've already preheated this so it won't take like five minutes to heat up all this, but this is what I like about cutting the perfect holes. That should be warm enough. And really then it's just, look at that, is that fantastic? There we go. Oh, I made, I made a mistake there here. I'm gonna show you here, Kate, come over here and show this, see this. I put the, um, the fertilizer strip in the wrong spot on that box. It should have been down a side. I'm going to have to recover that one. So I won't plant that one this morning. We got two here to do and we'll, we'll go, we'll go ahead and, um, and take, take care of that. Got a couple of different okras that I'm going to use. Um, this is an okra rainbow mix from Fairy Morse. I grew this a couple years ago and I like it because it has red and orange and white and green okra all mixed up. Now, you really don't know what you got, so you got to plant a lot of seed to get the whole, um, the whole selection. The other one I'm going to plant, and I'm just going to do three boxes of this, but it's the classic Clemson Spineless. And I, re I remember when I first got to Clemson, going back to school and, you know, to, to, to work on this crazy horticulture career that, that we went out down on. Um, Okra reminds me, that's that Clemson spineless seed, what that, what that looks like. Um, but okra always reminds me of when I first met, um, whoa, look out, Kate. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, when, when I first met T. Sen, Dr. Dr. Sen. Um, those that went to Clemson know who I'm talking about. Those that didn't, just let me tell you, he was one of the original OGs of Clemson horticulture. And he told me a story about when he first got to Clemson working on, it was probably his bachelor's degree or his master's degree, D doesn't really make a difference, but he was working for one of the professors and his job was out picking okra. And so he was dropped off picking okra. He picked okra all day and end of the day, his professor forgot that he left tea out in the okra and he picked okra all day long until almost nightfall and he was he was just that he was that dedicated to getting the job done and so he was a very unique individual and i'm just i'm gonna well i'm gonna put four four seeds in in each in each hole um it's warm enough we can just go ahead and direct seed the um the okra here but um do this four seeds and more than that, we'll, you know, they'll, they'll all probably germinate, but I'll just go ahead and I'll just clip off the, um, all of them except one and we'll just um, grow, grow that. So I'm going to do the rest of these. I've got, oh gosh, I got, well, 
10 more boxes to do since I have to repair this, the cover on this box. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Listen, thanks for joining me. We'll see you next time for another Daily Dose of Hort.